bringing your expertise yeah. about energy and the way the body functions meridians is fascinating because when I think of three easy things to tell tips and tricks things to focus on as a new beginner I remember my journey with Terry he taught me how to breathe yes unbelievable that gave me the ability to focus which gave me the ability to be aware of my own body. What was the right things? What were the wrong things? Yes. So those three things, can you Huge. give us a little bit more about that? Okay. So the breathing, basically guys, the arms rise, the clubs rise, we breathe in. The chest expands. The arms fall down, the chest contracts, we breathe out. Think of the balloon effect, okay? In, out. Yeah, and this is opposite to what you know about explosive giving your best uh, Yeah, well, most, in most parts, we've been taught to, when we produce the effort, yeah. the effort to actually exhale, you know? And what, what I understand from what uh, um, Terry is saying is it applies to all, you know, limbs, like even for the legs, I'm squatting, yeah. I'm going down, I'm compressing, I'm going to exhale, I'm going up, I'm inhaling. Yeah. And so it's kind of opposite to what's been uh, said in most gyms most of the time. But again, it's a question of context. Yes, right? exactly. Heavy lifting, lower reps, yes, you brace, you work against that breathing cycle I just described. Yeah, collecting energy, turn it around, Yes. yes, bring it in. Here we're Keep training it with for you. longevity. Okay, so that was two. To, to collect energy, number one, you expand, you breathe in, you, you contract, you breathe out. Okay. Yes. So number Tip. two, we talked about... What do you focus on? What do you focus on, yeah? Hmm? So focus on for the first feeling that your body is relaxed, nice and loose. You know, this is about flowing. Yeah. Any kind of discipline that you do where there's a flow, you need to be able to relax. Just do away with all that extra... <clears throat> Yeah. You can see. Okay, so, so where your mind flows, the energy is going to go into. So if I'm doing a big circle for the first, I kind of look where it's going and I, I feel the circle pulling me in that direction. Um, if you don't, you know, you're going to get an instant feedback because you're going to whack yourself on the back of the head or the back of the leg or, yeah. or something like that. So just become aware of what you're doing and you can't really help it when you swing yeah. the clubs. You say feeling this, that brings us to the weight. Yeah. So basically, number two is be present with what you do, focus on the flow of yes. what you are. So it should feel good, right? It should feel good. Okay. Should feel so the weight. The weight is there to support that, right? Yes. So you want it to be heavy enough to have a good feeling, a good pull yep. that helps you become aware of gravity, right? And you want it to be light enough so that it's easy to maintain the flow and the optimal range of motion, yes. right? So full, That's full it. Range, full range of motion and then make sure that you're your movements don't become choppy. You know, exactly. If they become choppy, it's because you have to compensate, you have to cheat somehow to muscle the weight in the yes. face and stuff like that. You shouldn't be like that. So it's really breathing in, out. Yes. You know, it's really focus on the flow and the feel good of the movement. Yep. And the third one is use a weight that supports that. Use a weight that is light enough so that you can flow easily yep. and heavy enough so you can feel the gravity. Totally. That's it. Something like the Palavanda will allow you to explore what weight is good for you. Yes, absolutely. Clubs are great. I'm in. Try that.